Thank you, Senator. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm State Representative Travis Weaver, and today we stand at a critical juncture in the preservation of our beloved Bishop Hill, a beacon of historical significance and a cornerstone of our community's heritage. Founded in 1846 by Swedish immigrants seeking freedom, this site embodies resilience, tradition, and cultural richness. Unfortunately, the alarming deterioration of its historic buildings has brought us together, emphasizing an urgent call for action. Our partnership with the Illinois Department of Natural Resources has been instrumental in exploring all possible avenues to address this crisis. However, we've reached a point where the meetings need to stop and the hammers need to start swinging. It's time for renovation and upgrades. Several decades ago, the state decided to take ownership of the Bishop Hill historic properties in order to preserve them. However, since then, they have allowed these buildings to nearly fall into total disrepair. Frankly, Governor Pritzker should be ashamed and embarrassed at his agency's handling of these properties. Illinois legislators and bureaucrats will scream about a lack of funding, but make no mistake, this is 5% about funding and 95% about poor management from the Pritzker administration. It doesn't take much funding to ensure that windows are sealed, roofs are patched, and gutters are working properly. Attention to these small details would have dramatically improved the building's conditions today. Isn't that always true, that leadership is in the details? Fortunately, I have confidence that the recently appointed IDNR director, Natalie Phelps Finney, is highly competent, competent and can right the ship, but it must happen faster. We're on the brink of losing, of losing the Bishop Hill properties and wiping away nearly two centuries of history. The governor has a pool of discretionary funds. We see him use these often, often for illegal immigration and propping up pet projects. I'm calling on him to immediately release the funds necessary to fix the Bishop Hill properties. Every day that goes by, Bishop Hill loses more of its, more of its historical value. This issue doesn't just need awareness. It needs immediate, effective steps to get repairs completed. Without swift action, the chance to save these landmarks evaporates. Fortunately, we're not alone in this struggle. Various groups like those who join us here today are united by a shared reverence for Bishop Hill's legacy, and they stand ready to dedicate their time and their effort. However, our collective will can only take us so far without support and commitment from the governor and the IDNR. The essence of Bishop, Hill, of Bishop Hill, its buildings, its stories, and its community are irreplaceable treasures that we have the duty to preserve for future generations. Let today's message serve as a resounding call to action to safeguard and honor the foundation of our community. It's time to do the right thing for Bishop Hill, her people, and her landmarks.